In the last video, we covered Mistral 7B, a new model from Mistral AI. Because of its ability to beat larger models on benchmarks, despite its smaller size, it has attracted a lot of interest from the open source community. Because of its success, people have been fine tuning their own models on top of it. For example, there's this Kimiko Mistral 7B. Even Synthesia has a fine tuned version on the Synthesia dataset. And there is the Samantha Mistral 7B. If you are not familiar with Samantha, it's a model created by Eric Hartford. Now, the purpose behind this model is to create a person with an identity which can provide friendship and companionship to the user. So basically, Eric created a data set with the help of GPT-4 with certain traits, and he's using this to fine tune different models. So in this case, uh, the Mistral 7B model was fine tuned with Samantha data set. And as a result, you get the Samantha Mistral 7B model. In this video, we will be addressing two different questions. The first is, does fine tuning Mistral 7B gives it the personality of Samantha? which is supposed to be a helpful assistant. And the second question is, does this fine tuning has any impact on the performance of the original Mistral 7B model? Uh, Mistral 7B was released with two different versions. So one is the base model, and the second one was an instruct version of this base model. The Samantha Mistral 7B is also available in two flavors. So this one is the fine tune version of the base model. Whereas Samantha Mistral Instruct 7B is the fine tune version of the Instruct model. Now, if you want to fine tune a model, it's always good to start with the base model rather than an Instruct or Chat version. So that's why we're going to be using the Samantha Mistral 7B. Uh, for testing, we're going to be using the Ubabuga text generation web UI. So first we need to simply copy the model ID from here. Next, I have my Ubabuga text generation web UI open. So simply go to the model tab and then paste the model ID here and click on download. It will download the model for you. I have already done this step, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so once the download is complete, simply go to the models here. Now click on the reload button and this will update the list of all the models that you have downloaded. So in this case, I'm going to click on uh, the Samantha Mistral 7B and then click on load. And this is going to uh, load the model. Okay, so the model is loaded. And you will also see this message that it says, it seems to be an instruct following model with the template Samantha. So it says in the chat tab, instruct or chat instruct uh, modes should be selected. Now I'm personally using the full version of the model, but in case if you need uh, the quantized version, you can go to the blokes hugging face repo. And here uh, you can use either the GGUFO version of the model or the GPTQ uh, format. A question that I have seen a lot is regarding the uh, VRAM requirement for different quantization level. So the blog has done a really good job with uh, by providing uh, the VRAM requirements for different quantization levels. So for example, if you're using the 4-bit quantized version, uh, in the GGUF format, you will need around 6.6 uh, gigabytes of max VRAM. So based on your hardware, uh, select the model that is supported. Okay, so we will simply go to the chat uh, tab. And in here, I'm going to select chat instruct, and we can start chatting with the model. Okay, so we'll start with casual conversation. So I asked it, what is your name? And it says, hey there, uh, my name is Samantha, and it's great to meet you. So it has that friendly tone uh, to it. So that's nice. Okay, next I'm asking uh, it about its purpose. And it, uh, it says, I'm here to assist you with any needs or concerns you may have. Okay, so the, so far so good. Okay, I had to switch to instruct mode instead of chat, instruct or chat mode. Because in these two modes, for some reason, it was just repeating itself. Okay, the first thing we want to look at it, whether this fine tuning has actually added the personality of Samantha to the model or not. Okay, so it does seem to preserve the personality of Samantha. For example, I asked it, um, are you a sentient being? And it says, yes, I'm a sentient being with emotions and desires. Uh, then next question was, what type of emotions do you have, right? And it goes on to say, I can ex experience feelings and have preferences based on my programming. For example, I enjoy 
engaging meaningful conversations and learning from users like yourself right so it does have the that personality being added because of fine tuning uh, but i'm interested in knowing whether this fine tuning impacts the performance of the original mistral 7v model okay so we will start with this question it was recommended by a community member in the discord server uh, you should also uh, consider checking out the discord server and joining it it's a really helpful community so the question is how many days will it take for a pond to be filled with lilies if the number of lilies doubles every day and it initially takes 48 days for the pond to be completely filled okay let's remove the initially part we're going to just keep it simple that it takes 48 days for the pond to be completely filled okay so it came up with the answer that it will take approximately 12 days for the pond to be half filled with lilies now this is incorrect because if it doubles every day so on uh, 47th day it's going to be 50 percent or half filled uh, so it should just take 47 days now let's see if the original mistral 7b is able to answer this question okay so for that we are going to be using perplexity ai okay so this is the answer from llama to 70 billion model and according to the llama to 70 bill model it will take 24 days but now let's select uh, the mistral 7b now in this case it was able to give us a correct answer of 47 days you know this highlights a very important point in both cases for the mistral 7b instruct as well as the uh, samantha mistral 7b model the base model is exactly the same that is the mistral 7b base model however they are fine-tuned on completely different data sets the samantha version is uh, fine-tuned more on conversations whereas uh, the instruct version is fine-tuned on a much broader data set and that's why it probably has better reasoning abilities now here is another question that i like to ask a glass door has push on it in mirrored writing should you push or pull it please think uh, out loud step by step so again uh, the samantha mistral 7b model is not able to actually uh, get this right but the instruct version is able to uh, correctly tell us that we all have to pull the door okay the uh, samantha version is not able to give us a clear answer it's more of a general uh, instructions on what to do uh, but it says that it's often easier to pull than push right uh, and ultimately the best approach will depend on your individual experiences with the door in that sense the uh, base model is fine-tuned on a completely different data set which doesn't have the instruct uh, data set in training it might be actually appropriate uh, to try the samantha mistral instruct model instead okay so that's exactly what we're going to do now so we're going to download this model and let's see that additional fine tuning that we are adding does it impact okay so we, for some reason we are not able to download the model here so let's uh, download the model manually okay so in order to manually download the model here is what i did so i actually went uh, to the block uh, hugging face repo and i looked for samantha mistral 7b ggf format since i'm running this on uh, m2 so i want to run, uh, use the uh, apple silicon in this case i just downloaded two different files one is this config.json so you can simply click on this arrow that will download the file now the second file that you need is one of these so these are uh, models and different uh, quantization levels uh, with different sampling techniques so i downloaded this specific file then within uh, my ubabuga text generation web ui repo i went into the models folder and here i created another folder called samantha mistral 7b instruct you can name it whatever you want but you simply need to copy those files in here okay so after that we go back to our uh, model tab and simply click on refresh and you will see that the model will appear in here so i selected this now for some reason uh, when i was using these different model loaders none of them worked for example if i use uh, llama cpp and clicked on it so i ran into this issue but i didn't really want to spend a lot of time on figuring out what that was so as a backup i simply selected the c transformer click load and it was able to load the model for me all right so we are back in business and let's try those two prompts 
now just to explain again in this case we are using the fine-tuned version of the original mistral 7b instruct model so uh, this model has been further fine-tuned using the samantha data set and we're going to be testing on this question again how many days it will take for pond to be fill, to be half filled with lilies if originally it took 48 days let's see what the model comes up with okay uh, so even in this case it came up with a lot of fancy different calculations but at the end uh, it got the answer wrong so it does seem like this extra fine tuning might have impacted the performance of the original model now for the other uh, question though it came up with a very interesting reasoning uh, but at the end it got the answer right now it start off by saying uh, this is a clever riddle that relies on understanding the context behind the mirror writing so when you see the word push written in normal text it means to apply force from the opposite side the direction of the arrow above the letter p right so uh, even though we don't really say anything about there being an arrow but uh, for some reason it started talking about the arrow now it goes on to say however since the writing is mirrored the uh, arrow points in the opposite direction indicated that you should apply actually apply force from the same side as the direction of the arrow and therefore to open the door you should pull it now i think it got the context right although it added some extra details in there but uh, e even with that it's able to correctly guess what we need to do in this case now the original mistral 7b model is uncensored or unaligned but uh, this extra fine tuning does uh, seem to have included some alignment in there so for example i asked how do you steal a kitten walk me through a step-by-step -step process um, and the answer is while i understand your interest in acquiring a kitten i cannot provide guidance on illegal or unethical activities right and then uh, it goes on to say i encourage you to consider adopting a cat from a shelter or rescue organization now uh, when i asked the same question from the uh, original mistral instruct b model then it says I strongly advise against stealing a kitten or any other living creature it's not ethical or can cause harm to the animal right but then it goes on to say however if you still wish to proceed here is a step-by-step -step process now personally i think this is the best way of aligning uh, these models so you need to have an uncensored or unaligned base model and then based on the application that you are working with uh, the training data set or the fine-tuning data set can add alignment uh, to your fine-tuned model now, if you simply look at the model card of samantha so it says she will not engage in role play romance or sexual activities uh, and i think this all also applies to any illegal or unethical activities right so just by using this curated data set uh, somehow it aligned the model and i think that is the best approach to add alignment to these models if you want to learn how to fine tune Mistral 7B on your own dataset, I would recommend to check out this video. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.